We need to go to Gold Gulch, the next part of the campaign. We're going to Coaster Canyon, a barren desert canyon with ample land available for construction, provides a perfect spot for a new tourist attraction. Won't, it won't be doing very well, will it? It won't be doing very well for the time being. A giant cliffside hypercoaster is the first step for this soon to be roller coaster paradise. <laughs> you hope. Have at least six coasters in your park with an excitement rating of 50 or above. I'm sure we can manage that. 550 guests. Yeah, I can do that. Somebody's just made it ding. And I must apologise because my chat box is not very good at telling me what's made it ding. And what I can't do is just go and have a look, which is a bit frustrating. Right, welcome to Coaster Canyon. It will cost you a dollar to get in, except it won't because I'm going to close the park while I think about how I'm going to do this. That is a heck of a coaster, I'm sure that we can all agree. In fact, I'm going to rename that. It's, it, it should be called Cascade. I'm going to call it Heck of a Coaster. In fact, with an A. Heck of a Coaster. There we go. Awesome. Should we get on it? Should we get on it? I think my coaster cam's working. It so is. <laughs> oh my word. This is genuinely terrifying. It just goes up and up and up. How high are we now? I don't like it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hands in the air! <laughs> Ooh, incoming! Ooh, is this a, what they call a Geiger coaster? Ooh. <laughs> this is massive! Oh, airtime! Ah, my stomach! Oh, I've just eaten. That was a really bad idea. Way. Oh, back under the track. Bit of a near miss thing there. Air time. And there's more. Whoa! <laughs> and over the river thing. And up. And oh, there's a there's a whatnot. There's a whatnot over there. And then we just ease in because by now we've all been sick. Awesome. I love it. Well, at least that's still working because Coaster Cam actually wasn't working last time we played, which was deeply disappointing. So, what have we got? We've got a twisty thing and we've got a coaster. And is that the entrance down there? I think it is. I think it is. Are you the entrance? It's actually quite difficult to tell. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. That's fine then. Let's open up and get some money out of those rides, although I'm sure that we can charge a lot more than five dollars for Super Mega Coaster here. How exciting is it? 64.3, well, 64.3. I can't remember the equation. Oh, yes I can. It's times 1.5, isn't it? So 64.3 times a half is, oh, let's just keep it at nine. Oh, the ding was local numpty. It says dinging for the sub because it's now August. Thank you very much indeed. That's very good of you. Every sub and whatnot, every ding is very much appreciated, even if you're just telling somebody else about it. Because I don't want to bang on about YouTube, right? But it's halved my views again, so. Meanwhile, twisty thing down here. Orbiter. That's 39.9, so theoretically that should be $6, but I bet nobody gets on it. This underneath the track here feels like a nice place for some food. I wonder what's available to me. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, hot dogs. Hot dogs and dr soft drinks, that's it. That's not good, is it? Let's have a first aid room here because I've got a funny pe feeling that people are going to need it. And I will have to put an idiot sign in because if I don't, you know where they're going to go and I'm going to get mad. Although I could turn it into a souvenir trap. It's just I don't think I've got any souvenirs at the moment. I've got balloons. Okay, 
Okay, let's let's put some balloons in just at the end there. And I'll think about stockage and whatnot in a mo. So let's raise the price of the balloons. And then um we'll put some food in somewhere. Like round like I think underneath the coaster would be kind of cool. Or possibly down here. Hmm. Is that a dirt path? It looks dirty. It is dirty. There we go. Yeah, I think that I can get a depot like underneath here. Which I'll buy now, because if I don't, we'll just end up with me forgetting and then I'll run out of money and then I'll get mad. So if I pop a depot there, there, and then we can link it up to wherever I need to link it to. Oh man, that's a long link. This is going to cost me a fortune. Great. Um, should we do it from this side? Oh my god, have you seen any people? How many people? I mean, I'm not complaining, but that's a lot of people. Okay, so I think that's going under there, and then if I go along this path here... Oh god, I really hope this works, because this is about to cost me a fortune! Oh no, has it... Has it gone over ground? It's gone over ground. It's gone over ground. It's fine. It's fine. I'll terraform it later. Okay, and then we need one from there. We'll need to go up a bit. Many of my guests are complaining about vandalism, are they? How dare they start complaining already? That's a point, actually. I bet I haven't got any staff. No, I haven't. That means I don't have a staff room either. Oh, it rains here. Oh, it rains here. Of course it does. Boo. Right, let's set this roller coaster to be looked at by the maintenance dude a little bit more. In fact, I might even give it a bit more money because that is a super mega coaster and it would be nice if it actually worked. Then I need to put a staff path in somewhere, anywhere. Oh, dear. Floating balloons! I'll tell you what, this is going to need a path going to it at some point, so might as well do it now. Nope, oh, hang on. Well, I have it coming down some very steep steps like so and then kind of link it up round the back maybe and then if i get a bit more dirt okay right then if i hook this depot to this balloon thing and then i put in some oh no come on that's toilets i don't want toilets you can't eat toilets no no don't don't what? no 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 hot dogs that way that's it that's a squirty hot dog thing there um well again we'll get the prices up because two dollars for a hot dog is a blooming bargain Does it sell anything else no and then we get some soft drinks in, because it looks like it might be a bit hot around here. I don't know whether that's right or not. I'll pop those up as well. And then, is that all my food? I need some research. What are you researching? They're researching Gravitron at the moment. Well, that's no need. That's no good, is it? I need you to research food. There we go. Hopefully the staff will do the right thing now. There's no guarantee that they will. But these paths are incredibly thin and people get knocked off when the paths are incredibly thin. So I'm going to start perhaps just uh, widening things a little bit. Not least because it makes quite a satisfying sound. People are more likely to vandalise stuff in the event that they don't really like what's going on. So... Are you going to automatically go up for me? No. Why did the other one automatically go up for me and down for me? And this one isn't doing. In fact, we've ended up with a tunnel. What? <laughs> what? What has gone on there? No, 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 no. No, I need a, 
I need a down bit, don't I? A d down, a down bit. There we go. Staggered staircases for you. Lovely. Lovely. Right. Let's hope that that carries on. I like the river. Oh, could have some like boats going down the river or something. You can't have boats going down the river. They just get confused and it ends up a right mess and people get stuck and they complain and then actually, you know, eventually they starve and then it all goes horribly wrong. So that won't be happening anyway. It's all good. I am in quite a bad mood today for a variety of reasons, I have to say, but I feel like I'm already starting to feel better. Not least because of local numpties dinging, but also because this game is awesome. Right, let's start making these a bit wider. Sort of stands to reason that they should be. It's odd, isn't it, how they do thin paths like this. I don't really understand it, but anyway. That should help me slightly with capacity. I might put an extra path in along here just to help people round. There we go. It's auto, auto stared that. I don't know why it doesn't auto, always auto stare everything, but anyway. Right. Are we open yet? Are we open yet? Are we open yet? Oh, here come the balloons. I need to put a staff room in as well before I forget and don't have any money because otherwise they'll get mad with me. Can I put the staff room anywhere hidden? What about like around here somewhere? Like there? And then I can maybe put some scenery around it. That sounds like a plan. Let's try to make some scenery. I like that. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Does this have windows at the... Whoa! What's happened there? Whoa! Oh, I see. I went up the hill. Oh, no. The hill's in the way. Does, this... does it have windows? I don't think it actually does, but... You can have them anyway. Way, way, way. Oh, no. Don't put it in the middle. Right. I now need a door. Hopefully, it will go straight to the right doorway. It's not going to go straight to the right doorway, is it? Normally this is relatively intelligent and it gives you the right one. There we go. And then, I've never seen this roof before. Let's do a little sort of tent effect on it. Seems to have some extra bits. Half slope edge. Half slope edge. What good did that do? Oh, I see. It's off. It's like extended. I don't know why. I'll do it. Still doesn't quite look the same, does it? But anyway... And then I'm going to need these bits here. No, no, not wall. wall. No, not wall. That half slope. You can't see it anyway, but for completion. Is that in the right place? It's very difficult to see. Oh, there we go. That doesn't look like it's in the right place to me. I don't know about you. No, because now it's trying to attach it to that stupid edge thing, isn't it? Get rid of the stupid edge thing. There we go. There we, there we go. There we go. There, oh, whoop, and there. Okay, right, good. Sorry, stupid edge thing, you can come back now. And it looks kind of like it should, sort of. It looks a bit right. There we go, oh, whoo, no, there. There we go, we've got the sort of intersection bit now. And I suppose you can have a chimney as well. I suppose you can have a chimney. Chimney, I'm not really a very chimney person. I've just realized the roller coaster goes straight through that. I mean, that just makes it ultra super awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> it makes it ultra super wrong. There we go. Just sort of on top there. Beautiful, if I do say so myself. <clears throat> okay, right. Got a staff room. Got a staff path. Got some food. Got a broken whatnot. Because everybody's going around bashing up my whatnots. Please don't do that. Now I need some benches so that the people can sit down and have a drink. What kind of benches are we using? There are no benches. Good, I get to decide then. How about a log bench? Log bench looks good. There we go. Bing, ding, ding. I also get to choose bins. Which bin? Wooden bin? Big bin? What's the difference with the big bin? I don't know. I kind of quite like that one, but then I also like bins where you can't quite, you can't see them when they need emptying, so let's go for that one. Put that up there. And another one up here. 
Lovely. And we've got some space for a couple more shops when we've got them due to research. Cool. Who else is in today? I don't think there are that many people around this afternoon. Are you all out, out catching dragons in Pokemon Go? That's part of the reason why I'm in a bit of a mood, actually. Because for a dragon event, I seem to be getting an awful lot of... Not to put too fine a point on it. Shitomon. If you promise me dragons, do not then give me centrets or other crappy things beginning with S. Anyway, complaint over. Am I making a profit? Very definitely not. Okay, so do I have an information kiosk? Because if I don't, then I'm missing out on some free money. I don't think I do. Let's get one in. There? Or I could put it there. Or there? There. Ding! Got some toilets, I know. I didn't know that. That's good. At least they won't be whinging about toilets when I forget to put them in after about ten minutes. And what I could also do is sneakily put a vending machine down here. Sneaky vending machine. Awesome. Always double the price of things in vending machines. There we go. There's no getting away from that. Let's get another hauler or two in because I think I'm asking them to do quite a lot of work. There we go. Lovely. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you already leaving? No. Oh, it's a woman. Molly, are you already leaving? There are no high intensity rides around here that interest me. Well, I'm sure we can fix that. Enterprise. We have Enterprise. Let's get into Enterprise in at the entrance. The entrance surprise. There we go. Put that there. Put that there. Lovely. Get it rocking. As you all know, I love a bit of Enterprise because I can make it rock out. Hold on to your headphones. Or not. Does it not start playing unless I start testing it? Maybe it doesn't. Oh god. Oh god, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. I'm not ready for that. Boo. <laughs> anyway, right. Are you rocking out? Are you going to rock? Are you going to rock? Where's my music? Oh, really? Have I got music turned down or something? Excuse me just a moment. We can't have Enterprise without any music, can we? Controls, general, graphics. What am I missing? Where's my, where's my music volume gone? How weird. I can hear it. I can hear some. Some music. Settings. General. Sound. 100%. Ride music. 100%. Am I going silly? Usually the music's really loud. Okay, right. That's a little bit strange. Anyway. What will this be, roughly? I mean, that's very low excitement and very high noise at the moment, which isn't great. Meanwhile, more visitors are attracted to me, but there isn't really any reason for them to stay because Enterprise is not enterprising. Enterprise, why are you no Enterprise? What's what's going on here? Is it because there's a storm and it won't go even if there's nobody on it? Boo! Oh well, gives me the opportunity to turn it gold. Okay, that's not gold, that's more sort of bronze colour. Speak. Uh, apologies if you can hear a kind of weird rumbling sound. I think my, my upstairs neighbour has come in and put his stupid blinking, um, what's it called, on washing machine on. And now we all have to listen to it. Great. There we go. It is gold, gold. Always believe in your whatever. Woohoo! Right, are we enterprising now? Are we rocking? How... Oh, is, can you hear the music? Am I going silly? I don't know. Anyway. I always thought that Enterprise was more exciting than this. I mean, if that was the first thing you saw when you walked into the park, I'd have thought you'd be quite pleased. I'd be quite pleased. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, what I'd do is go, oh god, I'm not going on that. But Anyway. Let's see what the ratings come in at, because I am faintly surprised that that's not very exciting. I mean, it's Enterprise, for goodness sake. 
they love it normally. It's even Enterprise with tiny cacti in the middle. Oh, it's crawling, crawling, and oh, really? I always thought it was better than that. Fine. Well, I'm gonna call. What's twenty-seven div divided by two? What the thirteen and a half? I can't do maths. Let's let's call it four. I'm sure they'll pay four for it. Oh, I said they can't get on it. <laughs> um, what ride path do I want? Do I want a wooden one? Wooden one. Wooden one sounds good. Okay, let's pop that in there. Awesome. I'll get rid of all that later. Okay, why is nobody happy? Ugh, happiness. Decoration. Decoration. You can only hear me and some dinging. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? Why is the why is the sound so low? I don't know. Let me just fiddle. Oh, 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 oh. How's, how's that? Is that better? Oh, there was a an extra bit of volume that needed putting up there. How's that? Does that work? Do, 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 do. OBS does weird things sometimes. Like, I can now hear that. But it doesn't look like you can. That's a bit strange. Let's try that. Oh, it's rocking for me now. Can you hear the rocking? The music still doesn't seem very loud to me. How odd. Also, I can hear, like, I can hear the menu So, <laughs> Why can I hear the menu music when I'm not in the menu? <gasps> Have they messed something up? Have I messed something up? I mean, generally, it is more likely that I've messed it up. How odd. World ride music, voices, background music. Let's get rid of background music. We don't want that, do we? We don't want that all the time. That's just annoying. What we want is to hear the rocking out. There we go. Right. I hope that's working. Right, people have got a hell of a walk, haven't they? What I'm supposed to be getting in, actually, is roller coasters. That's the whole point of this. But I'm going to need some cash if I want roller coasters. What that means is shops. What are you planning? Burgers. They're planning burgers. That's good. I probably need to put some more benches in and some more trash bins in because otherwise people are going to start getting arsy because they're going to get tired and they're going to trash their everything. They're going to trash everything and I'm going to get mad. Bit of music but faint. Yeah, there's something slightly strange going on with the sound effects on here. Let me just, let me just put it up a bit further. It's a bit strange. I'm just going to check my desktop audio is definitely turned up here. Yep. How very odd. Oh my god. Whoa. The, the, whoa, that's menu sound effects. Oh, everything's really, really, really loud now. Okay, that's bad. Damn it. How weird that the sound effects seem to, like, not be right. I don't understand. That's really irritating because, you know, the point of this game is the sound effects, isn't it? What's don't quite know what's going on there. I'm just going to come out of here and fiddle with something. Sorry. I can hear it now. I don't know, it all seems very quiet. How exceptionally peculiar. It has been doing some strange things, it has to be said. I don't really know don't really know what's going on with it. They did an update and it all sort of went a bit screwy. Right, hopefully you can hear that a bit better, but I can't guarantee anything. 
very weird. I don't want to blow my own ears out, but equally, I, you, obviously, you need to be able to hear it, don't you? Right. I'm going to put some more benches. Oh, God, that menu sound is really, really loud now. What is... Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Building. Let's put building on 50% and then I won't have my ears blasted out every time I build something. I'm going to ram that up. Hopefully you can hear that a bit better. How very strange. Sorry about that. I wish I'd known earlier. Karen, is that you? Who says Boingo? Boingo? What's Boingo? <laughs> Boingo! Da, 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 da. I'll pop some benches in for people. That's still really loud, that building noise, isn't it? Ah, why do they always change stuff? Why? Why do they always change stuff? There we go. There we go. Look at them. They're knackered. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Are you better now? Oh, actually. <laughs> it turns out it's black benches. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, man. There's some serious crowd noise going on. <laughs> Have they fiddled with the crowd noise? Personally, I found that quite exciting. I do like a bit of crowd noise. I also like a good souvenir trap. So never mind burgers. I want some souvenirs and I want some money. I'm still not making any money here. That's bad. Because I need money for roller coasters. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, is start small and try to get a load more of people in and get them on here. I've just thought actually if it's that big can I put more than one? Oh I've already got more than one train okay maybe not then. You see now the menu sounds are really loud for me. Ambiance. Oh UI. We need to turn UI down maybe. So we have ambiance without my ears getting blasted out. Right, let's get some more rides in down here, like cheap ones, so they spend money as soon as they get in. And let's also just do a little tiny bit of terraforming to get rid of this horrible thing here. Doink! Doink! Yeah, there's no pipe there, is there? There's no pipe. There's no... Oh god! Da, 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 da. Let's try bringing that back down again because that's a really, really, really silly bit of tunnel. Oh no, but then we can see. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's the way you'd never know it was there. <laughs> Doink. Doink. Enterprise looks popular. Good. Right, what's cheap? Carousel, Ferris wheel, teacups, wave swing. You see, wave swing is one of my favourites. So nobody wants to go on it. In real life, I love it. We've got a Gravitron, we've got Orbiter, we've got the Elevator. Oh, Log Flume! Yay! I love Log Flumes and they're cheap. So, let's get a cheap Log Flume. We can have Maple Mountain or the Rhine River or Fraser Falls. Let's have a Fraser Falls. That feels like something that would fit around here somewhere, maybe. Oh yeah, in the middle of the hill. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could have it go through a hill. Oh, that would be awesome. Can I do that? No, because of the bloody pipe. Oh, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. There, yes, there. Yes, I would love it. I love it already. That is awesome. Where is the entrance? Might have to do a bit of digging around to find the entrance here. Where is it? Entrance. Where are you? Oh god! <laughs> oh, I've lost the entrance. 
Oh, it's, it is there, isn't it? It's there. Oh, I like that, though. Let's just get rid of this pipe again. I have all the stupid things to do. There. Right. Okay. So, let's dig around and find where people can go. Um, I need a ride path. Maybe a dirt, a dirt ride path. Maybe that could go underneath here. It's auto-staring auto for me. Look, auto-staring. As soon as I say that, it doesn't. There we go. What I could do is put that next to the roller coaster and then have it hooking up to... Th there? Is that right? There? No? There? No. There? No, nope, too high. I can't actually see. I can't see. Why is that not on there? What level is that at that that's not connecting to it? Uh, ooh, whoa. Roller coaster of a face. Could we just. Could you start from there instead? Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> what you doing? No, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't do that. There. There. Is it connected? It doesn't look connected. Why are you no connected? Oh god, please don't tell me I used the wrong sort of path after all that. I thought I'd use that one. Oh no. Have I messed up? I think maybe it's not connected somewhere along here. There's lots of very tired people around. Is it not connected? Is it that bit? Is it that stupid tunnely bit? There we go! There we go! There we go! Right, and in the meantime, I need a way out. And the way out can just come straight up. Probably in a very steep way. Oh, I just got my ears absolutely blasted out there by a ding. It's Samantha. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you very much indeed. We're having some problems here because, and I don't know why, because uh, Parkitect is quite quiet. Everything else for me is blasting my ears out, so I don't really know what the problem is, which is really annoying. How very strange. Normally we're all right, aren't we? So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to fiddle later. Right, in the meantime, got a stair-related issue <laughs> Oh no, what? How about some really steep stairs? Oh yeah, there we go, really steep stairs. I'm going to have to put an idiot sign on here. Because otherwise they're going to go down the really steep stairs. And I'm going to get angry. There we go, lovely. Lovely. So, here we go with the most amazing water thing in the world ever. Which is going to have loads of cars and has on-ride photographs. Which is great. So you actually start in the dark. Look, you start in the dark. It doesn't, it doesn't do inside tunnels very well, so you'll just have to imagine that there's a bit of water. Ah! There we go. I like the idea of starting in a dark tunnel. That kind of works for me. Okay, we're crawling, crawling through the tunnel. Maybe that works a little bit less for me, but anyway. If it was a hot day, it would be great. Oh, that's a cool view out of that tunnel. I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can see the ride and all the water on this side and the mountains. And you can see the ginormous roller coaster and the people queuing to get in. You can see Enterprise. It does look super fun, Samantha, doesn't it? It looks really cool. I like this. I like it when you just put things a little bit under the ground. Because it does increase the excitement rating. So the first thing we do is go into this awesome tunnel. Just ignore the graphical glitches. And then we get stuck in a tunnel. But it's fine, honestly. You'll get out eventually. A bit slow, innit? It's the tunnel of screaming. And then <laughs> wherever that is, duck. <laughs> oh no. 
And then, oh look, you can see Enterprise again. And hear birds tweeting. The views from this are great. I love it. Oh look, look, I love it. I love it when rides are in sync. And you can see people going up hills at the same time. We'll be able to see people coming down that eventually as well, I imagine. But we are the first carriage, so nobody's gone yet. I love the views. This is great. And that is a very, very, very big drop. And we get a bit of free music as well from Enterprise. Get to go over the river. This is brilliant. I love it. I bet this makes me loads of cash, you know. Loads of cash. Look, there we go. They're going down the tunnel. Yay! And we are going down this. Woo! <laughs> oh, through the river. Round the corner. We'll get these graphical glitches sorted out at some point. Or they would never get on it again. It's a real shame it doesn't sort it itself, but not quite that advanced yet for some reason. So we then go into the world. And then we creep round the corner very, 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 very slowly. There's possibly just a little bit too much tunnel. Although it all adds to the excitement rating. I like the echoey sound. I really hope that you can hear that. There's the echoey sounds of people screaming. It's cool. Samantha says, I always stuck at building rides and decorating, but I still love games like this and Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Me too. They are awesome. <laughs> they are awesome. It's great. What I like is um, having rides built for me that are like real life rides. Because Roller Coaster Tycoon was brilliant at that. Are we getting off? You can't see anything from down here. <laughs> Oh dear. You might have to just trust me when I say that that does definitely work. But yeah, I loved it when they uh, they recreated rides from, from real things. Okay, the excitement rating on that is massive. 56.5? I mean, that's like a $10 ride. Should we see if they're stupid enough to pay it? <laughs> Plus getting charged for a photograph. It's very creaky. That's, that's a lot of creaking. Hopefully you can hear that now. I think the sound might be a bit better. Nobody's going to want to get on it in the wet, but never mind. Oh, now you can hear the rocking out. Go! Do, 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 do. Samantha says, I want to recreate, recreate the rides at the children's theme park I work at. <gasps> you work at a theme park? Oh my god, that's amazing. Where'd you work? Where'd you work? Where'd you work? Can you give us a vague idea of where you work? Because that sounds amazing. Right, meanwhile, we're designing fruit juices, so I'm going to get burgers in somewhere. Giant burgers. Maybe over here where there is no food at the moment? How about, how about on this? Oh, I'm going to need a depot, aren't I? Um, well, there's one here. How about here? Let's put them here. You work at Creeley in the southwest in Devon. I am from the UK. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know it. I don't know it. Um, I'm trying to think which park it is, but I don't honestly know. That's embarrassing. Are you open at the moment? Have you opened back up again? Was it this week that everything opened? Burgers, 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 burgers! That's really cool. I've had a few people on, actually, who either work at theme parks or... Um, have worked I think that's a bit sort of busman's holiday for you in many respects isn't it what do you do when you're not working at theme park well I go and watch videos about theme parks um okay this is a bit it's a bit sort of I don't know it's a weird place it's a bit cactusy it's a bit palm tree-y do you have some palm trees do 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 
Yeah, one thing you might have to get used to, Samantha, I'm sorry to say, is me singing along to the right, which will make you wish I'd never found the music button. Right, we need to block this off with something, don't I? Is something stuck there? Right, now don't get rid of the path. Just get rid of the, that bit. There we go. That's it. Oh, there's lots of bits. Aloe plants in the middle of my staff paths. Samantha says we've been open for a few weeks now, but online bookings only. Indoor play areas are closed and we've slowed down a lot because we have to sanitise after every cycle. Oh my god, can you imagine having to clean Enterprise after every cycle? You just put some soap and water in it, do it itself. Do its own cleaning. God, there's a lot of bits to burgers. What have we not got yet? Buns and meat. We're waiting for buns and meat and potatoes and salt. What have you got, Michael? He's got the meat. It's enough to make you excited about a burger. Right, my happiness has gone up a bit, but I'm still not making any money. Decoration, 5%. I could just, like, put some random trees in. Don't fir trees look a bit weird though to me? It doesn't feel like a fir tree sort of place. It feels like a palm tree sort of place. Like this is going to make any difference. <laughs> These fir trees everywhere though. How odd. Is anybody getting on this? Sort of. That doesn't have any music. That needs some music. So it needs to be looked at a bit. Oh, Orbiter has not been maintained for 40 minutes. Well, it's a good job I'm here then, isn't it? I suspect we need another mechanic. Oh no, maintaining Orbiter. There we go. What music can we have on Orbiter? Something a bit less drama, maybe. How about some techno? Or... Yeah, that feels a bit more Orbitery. There we go. I noticed my fruit juices were ready as well. So let's go back over to where I was putting my burgers. God, have they not done it yet? Still not fin finished it. Need to, need, to, need to eat. Need to eat. What have we got there? Buns. I think we are only waiting on buns now. We are. Yay! Burgers is about to open. Oh, it's already open. Well, how are you open with no buns? There we go. Were you just selling the fries? Can you do that? I don't think they can, you know. Anyway, right. Burgers. Get your burgers. No, really. Get your burgers. You. Get a burger. Oh! Get your burgers. Where have you all gone? Do you not want a burger? <sighs> Bugger. Ah. Uh. Excuse me, sir, do you want a burger? Oh! You're going to ignore my food now. You can't ignore my food. Don't ignore my food. Thank you. Are you happy now, Mary? Oh, not happy because there's no high intensity rides. So I need to sort that out, I'm sure. But we need to make some money first. Enterprise does seem to be pretty popular, it has to be said. I think they're more than happy with that. I hear the money chinging away. Samantha says, the one thing that I love managing in Parkitect but I find so unrealistic is that guests hate seeing the behind the scenes goings on. People are incredibly nosy. It's true, isn't it? I don't think I would be that bothered. I suppose... I don't know, people who make this, I reckon they're sort of coming from the Disney kind of way of doing things, where you want you want to be immersed, it's all like pretty castles and whatnot, if you know what I mean. But I agree, I think in Britain that's not really a thing, I don't think we really care. 
I'd never really thought about it. But for these people, I will put some fence in so that they can't see it as they're so offended by it. It's very strange. Personally, I think the fence is offensive. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was unintentional, but yeah, you know what I mean. Oh God, can you, can you hear that behind me? Yikes. It's just some dude on a motorbike. Do, do, do. Actually, let's take that bit out because I know what's going to happen if I don't. There we go. If you like your blinking fences, have some more fences. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Right, what are they looking at now? Please be souvenirs. No, it's not telling me. Right, fine. I can hear my food is selling. That's good. And people seem to be getting on my log flume, which is also excellent. Oh no, Orbiter doesn't sound very well. No, no, it's okay. It's okay, I think. There's another potential souvenir trap there, but I haven't got any souvenirs other than balloons. What souvenirs do you sell, Sam? Sorry, I, I can I call you Sam? Bit over familiar there. I'm genuinely quite excited now about the fact that it's great. <laughs> he says, I also play the game with just a single entrance fee and the rides are free because otherwise I feel really greedy. I know exactly, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean because like Blackpool, you get the choice of both, don't you? You can buy a wristband or you can buy tickets for individual rides and the, the individual rides are always ridiculously expensive. We have discussed this on streams in the past. That it's like seven or eight quid for one ride, but a wristband's 20 something. It's a bit silly really, but... The problem with this game is that it's really quite difficult to make money, which I've just done for the first time this month. Yay! It's quite difficult to do it on a single entrance fee. If you want a real challenge in sandbox mode, then doing it with a sing single entrance fee is the way to do it. It becomes a completely different game. It's funny because uh, in this one, it's almost like if you just charge a single entrance fee, it's somehow, you know, super unusual challenge. And yet how many theme parks charge a single entrance fee? Like Bush Gardens and Universal, you don't pay by the ride. So I don't know, it's a bit, bit odd, isn't it? I definitely need some more indoor stuff, don't I? Because it's quite wet. I'm gonna get some pavilions out. I do like a good pavilion, if I can find them. There we go. Let's pop some pavilions, some nice wooden ones up, so that you can sit and have a drink. Maybe over here as well. Uh, hang on a minute, I don't think they're under the pavilion if I do it like that. Oh. There we go, I could make a little pavilion y tunnel thing here. There we go. I haven't got any indoor rides yet though, I need to sort that out definitely. Do some wood pavilions here as well, sort of matches all the the wood there. Oh, hang on a minute, they're not underneath it either. I don't really want them here, to be honest. I think they're just gonna have to get wet. Right, I am starting to make some money. But high intensity rides is an issue because that what they really want is coasters. But coasters are really expensive. I'm not going to get a coaster with $1,800. What I could do is take a loan out. Let's see what loans we've got. Fee of 1.4%. But I need, well, I do think I need it to be a larger loan than that because what I want is a giganto coaster of some sort. It's 32 Celsius. Ugh, no wonder it's raining. It's like Florida. This all seems popular at least, which is great. Probably need some more toilets in as well, actually, because I think the toilets are only at the other end, which is not good. Um, where would be good for a toilet area that's a bit hidden away? There, maybe. Whoa. 
Is there anything better than the screaming excitement? I don't think there is, you know. Well, other than the sound of the cash register. It's decoration, isn't it, that's the main issue around here, but this place is going to need a lot of decorating. Are there any big, cheap structural things, perhaps? Like statues, props, fountains? $50 a fountain? That's, that's a bargain. Oh, water tower. Ooh, oh, oh yeah. Mm. yeah. You really need one water tower. Suddenly, it looks like seven days to die. I've got some classic cars. A biplane? I don't really know why you would necessarily want a biplane, but there we go. What are people thinking about this? It's not intense enough for them. Sometimes I modify them so that they've got bigger drops. God, that creaks like mad, that ride. It's terrifying. Ooh. Okay, let's run this on a bit because I need money. Not really pulling the money in. Also need a sip of my tea. Ah, that's better. Right, what kind of loan can I get now? Oh no, Enterprise is broken, that's no good. The loans haven't changed, have they? I need a big loan so that I can put huge roller coasters in, because that's part of my uh, my whatnots, my objectives. The problem with taking loans out is it gets really pricey really, really quickly. But if I don't start doing it, I could end up with problems because actually I've got a sort of limited amount of space as well, haven't I? Hmm. Could do with like some tiny coasters, like tiny junior coasters. I think one, one would fit quite well. I wouldn't want to be on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've just made you feel terribly sick there. <laughs> Let's take out the small loan. And then what I'll do is I'll put in a junior, like a cheap junior coaster of some sort, because they can be quite good. I think we had a caterpillar or something last time. We've got bamboo, boa, fantasy forest, impulse, thunder roll, green gardens. Impulse looks like a plan. If I pop it here. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's good because then it empties out. It empties out into the food zone. That's good. That's good. Right, let's get that testing. Don't want it to be blue though, do I? We need it to be sort of deserty coloured, whatever that means. Like that. Like that. Yes. And then we could have blue cars, I suppose. Well, this has got on-ride photos as well. That's just a cheaty way of getting extra money out of people. If you're going to design a road, a, a road, a ride, put on ride photographs on it. Okay, that looks like about the maximum cars I'm going to get. So let's get that tested out. Sam says I love spinning rides like that. As a kid, I went on one for three hours straight until I got too much of a headache. I can't, I can't stand them. I literally can't stand them. It's a real problem for me. If I go on one, that's kind of the end of the holiday, unfortunately. Way, this is kind of cool. I could put some of this underground, and that would make it really exciting. Bit twisty, bit turny. Oh, look. <laughs> Joint ride cars, one of my favourite things. Yeah, that definitely needs an underground bit. I think we can all agree. So, let's get this out. Maybe there? Yep, so you're going a bit underground and then maybe through that, those turns? Yeah. So you go straight into a tunnel. And maybe even a bit here as well. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, I've just realised actually that uh, that's screwed up my entrance to it. I'll just bring this one down here. Flatten that out. There we go. There we go. And then what I can do is get a ride path thing and pop it along here 
And maybe underneath? Yeah, we can go underneath the tracks. Uh oh, there has been an error. Audio clip path last dirt could not be played. I have no idea what that means. Doesn't matter, because I'm going to go this way. Oh, I can't go that way. Is it going to have to be a bit twisty? Oh no, hang on a minute. That's not, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, bye, Al. This is as usual on live streams. I've got to go to bed. Oh no, that's not good. I can't quite. Oh, it's going to have to go underground. Whoa! What, 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 what? No, the path. I want the path to go underground. Which will allow me to get it a little bit further. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, no, not, not far enough. I'm going to have to go down even further. Into the underground. And then we're going to have to... No, we're going to have to uh, go underground a bit more. Can we, can we come back up? Nope. <laughs> They can't come out ever again. How about if I put it round that way? Can you come up now? Yeah. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to get up. That's my new entrance. So to get onto this ride, you have to literally go underground. Cool. Right, where am I? Where are my carriages? Oh, no, it's closed. I'm going to have to retest it. This is going to be high excitement, though. That's good. Should we go on it again? see what my tunnels are like. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Twisty tunnel! Yay! Oh, that's better. That's better. Love it. Okay. Let's get that open. In fact, if the excitement is 56.6, I can probably charge about 7 for that without anybody whinging. Awesome. Right, what I'm going to do in the meantime is start paying my loan off a little bit. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I lied. I'm not going to start paying my loan off. I'm going to build another ride. If it all needs to be roller coasters, I wonder whether mm, it's not quite enough money for a wild mouse. Oh, I don't know, actually. Manic Mine Cars is only 2.8 just about get away with that. There is one that costs nothing and I ignore it because it's that's a big cheat. Cheese chasers. Good old trusty cheese chasers. Oh, I could put cheese chasers like there. Or I could try and put cheese chasers over the water. Not quite work, does it? Not quite. Roller coasters are always at the most exciting when they entangle with other roller coasters. That is a fact. Or we could put it in the hill. Oh yeah, actually. Let's put it on top of the hill. And then we can have the entrance right at the start here. That's a good idea. So let's get a path in for the exit. Which could probably be a souvenir trap of some sort when I get souvenirs. I don't actually know what my researchers have been researching. So it might be that we've got some souvenirs already. Pop that there. And then an actual path for riding the ride might have to be a bit sort of twisty turny here because otherwise it's not going to be long enough what I could do is have it going over that path and over the top of that pavilion and round I know it's not perhaps the most amazing looking thing in the world but it kind of works there we go. Right, how many cars can I get on this? This has got on right photographs as well. Right, four trains. Definitely going to start needing some more mechanics for this. Right, let's get this one tested. I won't go on it because it's, it's a bit dull, actually. Don't tell anybody. It's just not a very exciting ride. Might put that end bit in a tunnel. There we go. Could even put the start of it in a tunnel. Way, <laughs> yes, yes, twisty cheese. What rough excitement are we looking at here? Thirty-eight point five. Oh, we got a dink. Thank you, Samantha says. It's just cheered a hundred bits for cheese chasers. She's cheered the cheese chasers. Wicked, love it. Round of applause for Samantha. Thank you very much. 
obviously you, you have experience of this as well so I, I feel I feel honored that you feel like you need to cheer the cheese that isn't right is it did you notice that went sort of that went a bit screwy then <laughs> I do think that they've done some like slightly dodgy things with this game oh can we have the whole underground um the whole underground the whole start of it underground you see that's even cooler 55.7 now right what can I charge for that 55.7 another seven maybe maybe eight I'll do 7.5 I know that sounds like a lot of money but this is America awesome that's good I think what are you lot researching turkey le turkey legs give me souvenirs damn it what was your last thing bubble tea well that's really useful I suppose we could have a general bubble tea area somewhere. Right, does anybody want to go on the right? What are you thinking? I want to go on cheese chasers. Let's rename this. Can I say it? Samantha says cheese chasers. Exclamation mark. There we go. <laughs> Samantha says, get on cheese chasers, right? Otherwise, it's been a complete waste of money. You going on cheese chasers? No. Oh, you're going on cheese chasers. Oh, that's all right then. Hopefully, people will start getting on cheese chasers soon. Or I'm going to have no money left at all and we'll have to start again and that would be horrendous. Right, what I tend to start doing is just chipping away at the loan a little bit because it's amazing how much it adds up. But I do definitely need some more benches. It is extraordinary how many benches people need as well. I noticed these little black benches are everywhere. Which is slightly frustrating. It means I've mixed my benches up. Let's put some in on the corners. Don't know why you want to sit next to Enterprise. That is a big queue. Wow. Wow. Enterprise popping up the park. Do, 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 do. I need souvenirs. That's my key thing. I need souvenirs so I can charge people for big hats. People seem to be liking Orbiter. That's good. Anybody getting on my roller coaster that I've paid the earth for? Yes, they are. Good. Excellent. Right, let's run this on a bit. I've now got 300 people in the park. They are starting to get a bit happier. Incidentally, has anybody had a notification from YouTube? I bet you haven't, have you? I haven't had my own notification. <laughs> I might just have to tweet because I don't think that people have realised that I'm on. YouTube is just... Um, Finishing me? This is just finishing me. It's not even letting my own subscribers know that I'm live, which is disgraceful. On now, if YouTube didn't tell you dot dot dot. There we go, that's better. Okay, I seem to be making a bit more money now. That is excellent. Again, I will just chip away at this loan because I do think it makes a world of difference if you're not having to pay back money, basically. And my researchers have now completed turkey legs, which should also make me some more money. Where would be a good place for turkey legs? Probably not near cheese. Maybe down in my vaguely food area. Although there is already one kind of meat. Where are they? Turkey legs. Turkey legs? Turkey legs, there it is. Might as well have it here. And might as well have it be uh, served by that depot. Just makes things a little bit easier. Don't know how much they will want for a turkey leg. I'll try five. There we go. There we go. 
Oh, hello, Mel. Says I didn't get a notification. I just noticed you were live when I opened the app. Oh, it sucks, doesn't it? I just, like, YouTube's not telling anybody I exist. My views have all halved. The algorithm does this roughly every sort of six to eight months. And now I've got so few views that half my views going basically means death. Do I have a command for the links to my YouTube social? No. Sorry, no, it's not working at the moment. It's not working. But I can get you like a Discord link if you want one. Let me just get a Discord link for you. Let's have a look. Chat you like. Create invite. Invites. Here's a list of all my active invite lists. Yes, that's great. But where's the code? Oh my god, it's hidden the code. Since when did Discord start hiding the invite code? What? What's this rubbish? Oh. I can't. I can't. I can't, I think I'm, uh, I can't see the code. Invite people. Right, fine. Create a new one then. Create a new one. There we go. Meanwhile, on Twitter, I am at Jennyverse Live because somebody had Jennyverse and they won't give it back. Also, uh, normally they are underneath the videos on YouTube anyway. Because uh, all the social stuff goes under YouTube. But I should really set it up in Twitch as well. Right, what are we designing now? Snow, co snow cones. Snow cones never do well. Never. Nobody likes snow cones. I don't like snow cones. Remember having a snow cone at Islands of Adventure? It was rubbish. Not to put too fine a point on it. Look at this. Oh, Mary. She's heading for soft drinks. She's very happy. Very happy about the soft drink. Hey, that's new. I don't remember being able to see the comment like that. Well, do have a rest and stay. It drives me mad when people get really tired and then they don't stay. They have a drink and everything and then they wander off. Don't wander off. Have a seat. Have a drink. Stay. Go on several more rides so I can extract as much money out of you as physically possible. That's an order. <laughs> anyway, look, there we go. There we go, she's having a sit down. John's decided to sit next to her. <laughs> Nemet says, Jenny's Discord is a nice, pretty relaxed place where most of what happens is me and a few other people posting pictures of food. It's true, isn't it, actually? That is what we do. There's no aggro in my Discord, generally, anyway. Can't guarantee that. Obviously, you might want to start some aggro, but... Uh, no, generally we're not not a very aggro place. Right, I'm going to pop some more benches in. I'm also going to get myself a couple more cleaners because now that I have more shops, I guarantee you that they will probably be getting a bit, well, nasty. It was 550 visitors, wasn't it? And then a load of roller coasters. Yeah, 550 guests and six coasters in the park with an excitement rating of 50 or above. 50 or above seems to be easy. But does the log flume class as a coaster? Because if it doesn't, then I've only got two coasters in... No, three coasters, sorry. Three coasters in the park. Actually, I'm not that far off, am I? I'm not that far off, but I don't know whether the log flume counts. There don't seem to be many people on it. Log flumes are weird, aren't they? In real does, does your park have a log flume, Sam? Because they're weird things. I love them. But they're one of those things where they run and run and run and run and run, but nobody ever really seems to particularly get on them. Oh, I'm making all the money now, though. This is great. This is great. If I keep paying off this loan a little bit, then eventually I will be able to consolidate it into one easy monthly loan because I can take out a huge loan and then get rid of that one. You have got a log flume with two drops and it's very popular when the weather's good. Absolutely. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. They love it. They're a bit slow to get on it. Hurry up, you two. Hurry up so that people can get on. Oh my God. 
Personally, I see that at Alton Towers and I go, I'm not getting on that. I'm sure I talk quite a lot as well about the fact there was an accident on one of those a few years ago. A few years ago? God, 20 years ago now. That doesn't appeal at all. The sound's gone low again, you know. How very peculiar. There's been a lot of problems with this game for me since the last update. Very frustrating. But yeah, my sound's, my sound's gone low. It's not just you, it's me. <laughs> or maybe it's just me. <laughs> Mel says, I'd be in the queue for Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. I don't even like going on it virtually. I don't even like going on it. We'll we'll do a little ride on it for you, Mel. We'll do a little ride on it for you. When it when it goes again, we can get on it. <gasps> oh no, the heck of a coaster's broken. Well, that's no good, is it? We can charge an entry fee. Can't is it, Karen? We can charge an entry fee. It's just we're charging for the rides as well, so that would be really rough. <laughs> I know what we can rename this, you know. I know what we can read the name this. Melterprise. <laughs> oh, that says Multiprise. I'm so near and yet so far. Melterprise. <laughs> there we go. Right, come on then. Come on then, let's get on it. Let's get on it. Look, they're not very happy, are they? <laughs> God, nobody's very happy after getting on Melterprise. <laughs> oh dear. Sad man. Sad man with a balloon. Oh no. They're not happy, are they? And yet they're queuing for it. Everybody's got a balloon. Right, come on people, get on please, get on. Not least because I need some money. Oh god, there's a shortage of ride parts. I think we're going to have to hope that Melterprise doesn't like break down or burn down. These not- the, why, why is everybody so unhappy? I've never seen so many deeply unhappy people. Is it because they know the snow cones are on the way? Oh my goodness. I mean, they're not just a bit unhappy. They look, you know, unhappy in a, a horrified way. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe after going on this, they'll be all right. Spoiler, they won't. Right, we can't hear the music. I have no idea what's happened there. But here we go with this horrific ride that I would personally never get on in a million years. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why would you want to get on this? Oh, it's only vaguely acceptable if you look into the middle of the rides. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Wrong in so many ways. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Admiral Mimo, or Memo, who I don't know, just hosted the stream for one viewer. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome to you. Got some new people today. That's always good. Do please make sure that you subscribe or follow to be possibly notified when I'm next live. Oh, this is horrendous, Mel. How can you like this? Oh, no. The only good thing about it was the music, and that's broken. Oh. 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 Yuck. Oh, the music's back. <laughs> Mel, you fixed the music. Admiral Memo says none of my regulars are on, so I went to see who they were hosting and I got here from lying in bed on Excellent. Oh, well, welcome! Because I featured in a couple of his videos. I am the voice of Gen.exe. This is very slow to load and unload, isn't it? It takes eight ages for people to get off. I wish you could do two exits. But it's super popular, to the point where I might even need to extend my ride queue a bit. S Samantha says I- Samantha says says I got here because you were the only person streaming Park Attack. Really? The only person? Oh, Mark! Mark in YouTube, hello. Mark Interj or Intodge, says I came here from Yander Dev Deepfakes. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'm not a fake. I've no idea what that means. <laughs> As I say, I'm not at all popular on YouTube at the moment. It's it's trying to kill me. And it's succeeding, which is horrible. Would now be a good time to say that I have a Patreon. <laughs> but yeah, do please like, subscribe, share, retweet, whatever, everything everything helps, because you never you never know which retweet might result in five hundred people coming in, it'd be great. Ah. 
28 and storms. That's definitely not going to help, is it? Oh, no. Fraser Falls is broken because it's been struck by lightning. Oh, we missed that. What a shame. If you were already on a watery hill, you will continue to be on a watery hill. It's just you'll get stuck on the lift. <laughs> we're going to end up with a load of people piled up, aren't we here? <laughs> What the hell is Yandir Dev deepfakes, by the way? Right, I'm really intrigued now. What what even is that? <laughs> is it a really popular channel? That would be amazing. <laughs> oh dear. The day that somebody does a deepfake of me. Something's gone terribly wrong. Alright. I've always dreamed of being picked up by some spammy channel and ending up, you know, really... <laughs> Really, really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Popular. Nemet says, the English in that is more confusing to me than the Japanese. The English in that is more confusing to me than the Japanese. The, sorry, what? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, God. We've gone down one of those YouTube holes, haven't we? That makes no sense. I'm just carrying on my tunnel in the meantime. It's the name of that channel. Oh yeah, the Yandere Dev Deepfakes. Might have to go and look that up. There used to be a time when it was really, really easy to see who in YouTube had referred you, but uh, not anymore. Hello, fatter than most. Welcome to you. Are you have you come here from Yandere Dev Deepfakes? Are you a fake? Maybe you're all fakes. Maybe this isn't really happening. Meanwhile, why is this not done yet. Have I not got enough, enough mechanics? Oh, hang on. There's a mechanic. There's a mechanic. Randall Schmidt is on the case. Get bashing, Randall. Thank you. Too tired to work. It's too tired to work. That's awful. Well, I can't afford another staff room for you, so you're going to have to go find it, aren't you? It's over here. Miles away in my general staff area. Oh god, there's something. Oh, no, have I not got enough staff? I can't afford staff. They've all had to be furloughed. Oh dear, running out of staff. That's not good. Where are you going? Why are you not going to deliver hot dogs to hot dogs or whatever it is that needs doing? Julia. No, Julia's disappearing. Right, fine. Well, nobody's going to get hot dogs then. Thanks. What are we planning on at the moment? Oh, ice cream. We're working on ice cream. We are working on ice cream. Good, that's a lot more useful than snow cones because people like ice cream, but they don't like snow cones. Fatter than most says, what have I missed? What's this about fakes? Mark in YouTube says that he got here via the Yandir De De Dev Deepfakes channel. And I was just speculating as to what that actually is or means. And which YouTube rabbit hole you have to go down to get here these days rather than being referred from gaming channels <laughs> oh they're loving that roller coaster aren't they they are loving it it's still not packed out maybe they're afraid of having to go down the tunnel to get into the right I'm not going down there But I do need souvenirs. Souvenirs can make or break. Because when you can sell people giant hats, everything changes. Hats. Hats change everything. Gives me money. Gets me right. <laughs> and where are my hot dogs? There. I think that might be my hot dogs. That looks like me. That's terrifying. Victoria looks like me. Actually, Victoria looks like Mel as well. That's a bit weird. Oh, look how dirty hot dogs is. It's dirty and out of stock. What I need is a dedicated chop cleaner. Uh, Reginald. Reginald, dedicated chop cleaner. Do you want to go and clean the shop? No, he doesn't. Let me re-express that for you, Reginald. Go and clean the shop. No, Reginald does not want to clean the shop. 
God's sake. Ugh. Karen says an exciting Grand Prix and live park set with Jenny is my ideal and exciting rainy day. We've avoided the rain here. It's actually surprisingly warm. The temperature it says that it isn't, but it is. What we need is ice cream. And giant hats. Right, I'm going to lop a bit more off my loan. Bringing my monthly fees down. It's good advice for real life as well, I have to say. But what I really need is more big roller coasters. So I'm thinking here. Oh, hello, Astragali. Says if you're wanting to buy a sombrero, make sure you take very good care of. It'll not only flatten your hair, but you could hit one someone in the face. <sighs> Stream poetry, it's the future. I thought that was going to be a limerick then. If you're wanting to buy a sombrero, make sure you take very good care of. If you hit in the face and you... No, I can't get there. If you're wanting to buy a sombrero, make sure you take very good care of. If you don't... I can't think of anything that rhymes with face. Um... No, I can't, do you know, I, I can't think. If you want to buy a sombrero, make sure you take very good care of. If you don't... No, I can't get there. Damn it! It was to the tune of the hat dance. What the hell is the hat dance? <laughs> oh, I'm God, I'm learning all sorts of things this afternoon. <laughs> if you're wanting to buy a sombrero, make sure you take very good care of If you're walking at pace, hit someone in the face, and you could also flatten your hair row. Oh, so near. So near! It's not my best work, it has to be said. Meanwhile, somebody on the radio mentioned Fraser Falls, probably because it was struck by lightning. The ride will have an increase in customers, which is just as well, because at the moment it has approximately no customers. Oh no, wait, one. One customer. I need some advertising, really. I need to start getting some people in. But can't afford it. How close are we with those ice creams? Because ice creams will definitely help. And are people buying my turkey legs? That's the other thing I was a bit worried about. This turkey leg from Turkey Legs is a bit overpriced. Well, yes, I agree. But it is making a profit. <laughs> Karen is now trying to rhyme. Place, mace, trace. If you're wanting to buy a sombrero, make sure you take very good care of. If you're in a small place and hit someone in the face, you could also flatten your hair row. There we go, we're sort of we're sort of we're sort of there now with that. Incidentally, come for the game, stay for the poetry. <laughs> or just stay more generally than that. Oh, come on, ice cream, good god. Hurry up. I should probably be giving a bit more money to my research team and then they'd spit things out quicker. There we go, I'll just give you a little bit more money. Chop a bit off that, always good. Ice cream! Come on, ice cream! Oh, I swear. Oh, God, no, this is getting worse. This is getting worse. One day I'm going to try and do a whole stream in rhyme. I'm sure that will do wonders for my viewing figures. Hooray! Ice cream is available now! Round of applause for ice cream that I can't afford because I've paid my loan back. It would fit so perfectly there if only I had 230 dinghies. Come on, people, get on the roller coasters, buy the balloons. Not many people on that junior coaster. I wonder why? Is it just a bit too expensive? I want to go on something a bit more intense than impulse. Well, you can't, because there isn't anything. Both YouTube and Twitch applauding the ice cream. 
There we go. Right, let's get that set up from this depot. Unfortunately, we can't see the boxes crashing into the depot, but I promise you, they are there. And then we can pop the price up. Come on, ice cream, you're going to save my park. There's the balloon there. Awesome. If I could afford some more ice cream, I'd quite like to put it in at this end as well. Oh, we could have a little ice cream area. Or I could just put it down here where the paths are. This is the uh, melt price. It's extremely popular. Fatter the most says if you do do a rhyming stream, you have to have a forfeit for every time you mess up. God. <laughs> I do the whole thing in the style of rock opera and then it doesn't have to rhyme. I'm just wondering whether to put the price of Melt Prize up a little bit because I reckon they would pay a little bit more than I could do with squeezing every cent. Does anybody remember when I used to do like crazy little song streams? My favourite one was the, uh, the Chef Solitaire USA one. I did a patron stream of Seth, Seth, uh, Chef Solitaire USA and I started singing along and it was perfect. The song just came out of my mouth. Right, I want ice cream down here, incidentally, where this fence is. So what I'm going to need is another bit of staff path. And to get rid of that bit of fence there. And hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to afford it. Don't put it... Why would I want, why would I want it that way? I want it that way, obviously. Why am I not serving the staff, am I? Ugh, run out of money. My food is doing really badly. Are they just not interested? I mean, how could you not be interested in burgers? I don't understand. Is all really worth the money? Then buy it! Sorry, get getting angry. I was saying at the top of the stream, I'm in a bit of a mood today for various reasons. Largely down to idiots making noise. But also slightly down to Pokemon. It's supposed to be Dragon Week. It's not giving me any dragons. Well, it is giving me the odd dragon, but I'm trying to get a shiny Rayquaza. And I can't, and I'm annoyed about that. But I'm more annoyed about the fact that my incense keeps giving me non-dragons, which I think is a right rip-off, but anyway. Yay! Ice cream! Woohoo! The other thing I want to do when I've got a bit more money is put another is put a fence in here, because obviously this lot can see to the back and they don't like it, even though, as Samantha says, in real life they'd love it. Speaking of Samantha, she says I got a lot of Dratinis and I finally was able to get a Dragonite. Yay! I must admit I've had a lot of Dratinis, as much as I'm complaining. I hardly ever get them around here and uh, I have had quite a few. But I want another shiny one. I got a shiny one on... Um, Safari Zone day, and I haven't seen one since, which is really disappointing. Oh, we have a gotcha! Oh, that's cool. You must pick up loads of stuff then, if you're in a theme park. I played, got, I played uh, Pokemon in in uh, Lego Land in Florida once, although I sort of forgot about it and ended up missing lots of stuff. I also played it in the Kennedy Space Set, but this was just before they introduced records of where you'd been. So, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to say that I had been at NASA headquarters tagging Pokestops, which is a bit of a shame. Melster says, I was having the same trouble with Pokemon Go earlier. One Dratini for every ten spawns. <laughs> rubbish, isn't it? Where's my Gibbles? I want the Gibbles and I want Bagons, because I hardly ever see them. Astragali says, "Do I need to? Do you need to hook up a delivery for the ice cream shops?" No, it's okay, because they will they will do it from here, because there's a delivery thingy here that they've already done it actually. There we go. Ice cream is open. You only have to hook it up if you want them to use a specific depot, because otherwise you end up with if you if if it wasn't hooked up here, you'd end up with them carrying it all the way over from the from the entrance, which definitely wouldn't work. Oh, that man's got an ice cream. Oh, it's, it's Kelly. Kelly's got a green ice cream. What flavours are we selling? I mean, what sort of ice cream is this bright green? I don't know. Lime? Lime ice cream. Look, look, look. More more bright green. Bright green ice cream. Hot dogs, turkey legs. I love it. 
I love the detail. I wish I could get a bit further in for you, but I can't, unfortunately. But everybody's got a little food item. Look, running, running for food. It's you again, Mel. Mel, what are you doing in my park? <laughs> that looks like lime to me, that really bright green one. And that one, that might be lemon and lime. Basically, you can have anything as long as it involves lime. What are you staring at? <laughs> what are you staring at? <laughs> it's actually watching impulse. This is good. I've got like a food trap now. Because the people are a bit strange and what they have, it, have, it, have a habit of doing is... Um, like if they wander around in an enclosed place enough, they're like, ooh, food. I don't really know why. I think it's because they're a bit daft. Right, let's run this on a bit. Get some cash in. Done really badly with the news. Negative news and shortage of ride parts. No wonder there's nobody here. I reckon if I put another big roller coaster in, I will probably start getting some more people. So what I could do with doing, I think, is probably taking out another big loan. Heart in mouth. What have we got? 2.2. 3.4 was bad. 2.2 is not horrendous. Could probably do a little bit better than that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that loan. I'm going to repay this one. Just to get rid of the fee on it. Consolidating my loans into one easy payment. And then I'm going to get another roller coaster. Mine trains are obviously the cheapest. But mini coaster looks good as well. Mini loop. Moderate meanders. Worm Express, small junior coaster. Thing is, I need something that's really high excitement. And these are not very high excitement unless I put them underground. Is there something that's a bit higher on the excitement front? That's still cheap? Oh, the mine train coasters. I love mine train coasters. Country roll. Ooh, Ooh country roll fits. And I could have it going over the path. Oh, yeah. And underground. Oh my god, that's gone very underground. I'm going deeper underground. Oh, I'm also going to pay some of that loan off while I still can. Right, let's terraform this so that we can see the entrance and the exit. There we go. Okay, so the exit... Oh, the exit's in a bit of a weird place, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe I'll have it so that you have to go over the ride here to get back out. I mean, that's going to need an idiot path, because can you imagine how many idiots are going to go that way? So, if I go along here a bit, and then at that point we turn and we go up, we're going to need to go up a bit more. No. We're g <laughs> Are we going to need to go up a bit more? I think maybe. I think maybe we need to do it one square earlier like that. No. Up, up. And over. There we go. Up and over. And then maybe you, you, you get to walk along here. I mean, that would open up a lot of the park over here, actually, as well. And then, doink, 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 there we go. Can you see what I mean about idiots coming up here? I'm going to have to put an idiot sign in just for the time being. In case you're wondering what the hell an idiot sign is, the moment you put a new path in, this happens. No, Derek, there is nothing to see. No, Gary, nothing to see here. Don't know why they do it. But if you put a sign in that says staff only, they don't do it. Eventually, I'll probably unlock this so that they can come along here and uh, we can put another roller coaster in here or something. But for the time being, I don't want that. So let's get rid of those two things blocking that path. And let's get in a nice ride path here. A bit of, uh, a bit of sidewalk slabbing, maybe. Which will probably have to come back on itself and... 
go round and about. There we go. Oh no, no, we haven't gone. Oh, have I put the no? That's a that's a ride path, isn't it? Has it not connected? Is it this again? Stupid tunnels. There we go. That's it. That's it. So let's have a look. We've got on ride photographs. That's always a good way of squeezing the money out of people. Get the maintenance person to come and look at that a little bit more often. <gasps> pretzels! We've got pretzels available now! And there's a supply surplus of vegetables because nobody's eating them. Okay, I reckon we could have some music on this one. I'm sure there's bound to be a sort of western. Yeah, banjo! Banjo music! Okay, right, here we go then. We're on the train! <gasps> Straight into a tunnel. Oh, look at the view you get of that coaster as you're going up. Oh, that's brilliant. God, that's high up, isn't it? Oh, my word, that's high. Okay, here we go. Put your hands in the air. Whee! <laughs> oh, mine trains always feel like you're about to fall out. As excitement goes. Oh, into the river. Oh, into a tunnel. Oh, banking. It's banking. It's banking. Way. And up and round and down and tunnelly. Oh, it's awesome. That's brilliant. Wow, look at that. 67.7. If Lee was here, he'd be telling me to charge the earth for this, but I feel a bit weird if I charge more than $10. 67.7, so 15 dollars. Isn't it? Maybe I'll, shall I put it up to 12? Let's put it up to 12 and see what happens. Come on, money. I love that. You have to walk underneath it to get anywhere and... Uh, oh, this is going to be so cool. You get to go over the river and... Oh, it's awesome. My train's disappeared. Where's he gone? Hey, there we go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Surely everybody will want to get on this. I can already see that my people is going up. Right, come on, people. Get on my ride. It looks amazing. Do, 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 Why are people not pouring in? I bet it's the price. I bet it's the price. Oh, it's not the price. Nobody's talking about the price. Actually, I've just realised one problem I do have that I haven't done anything about is I've got no cash machines. Better put a cash machine in, probably next to the entrance for this ride so that nobody has an excuse. Here they go. Did it do? Oh my god, a bus has dropped off 31 orbiter fans. This is so good when this happens. I I just genuinely love the crush of people. Look at them. And the best thing is that orbiter is right at the far end of the park. Which means they have to walk all the way through. Cool. This is going to need a bigger queue. Yikes. I mean, I could make the queue wind a bit. The problem is there's so many people around, it might be quite difficult to do that. Right, sorry, end of queue. I just need to sort this out. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I've messed up. Ah! No, 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 no. Use the wrong kind of path. Wrong kind of path. Let's try that again. Oh, they'll be so confused. There we go. Astragali says, I wouldn't pay £12 for a 40 second ride. It's true, isn't it? I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. But it's not about us. Actually, it might be about us. Everybody wants to go on it. Nobody's saying that it's too expensive at the moment. That's not to say that they won't start getting arsy about it. But look, oh god, it's gone up even further. It's now 69.6. Here we go. Look, look, they're pouring. They're pouring in. Oh wait, that's my security. Okay, they're not pouring in. 
because they're all getting on bloody orbiter, that's why. I don't know, you build a really exciting new ride and what do they want to go on? This old thing that makes me feel sick. 30 people want to go on orbiter, where are they? The orbiter gang. Is that them? Have they got split up? Heading for, oh no, heading for heck of a coaster. Heading for soft drinks. Oh, they're here. Heading for Orbiter. <laughs> Mel says you should put another cash machine near the park entrance. I was thinking exactly the same thing. But I just haven't got around to doing it yet because I'm too busy spying on people. Also, I didn't have the money. Oh, balloon gone again. Balloon gone again. I'm going to put it here because I always think they look cool next to each other. Not looked at my vending machine, have I? Glowing out in the night. I'm going to put the price of that up because everybody seems to think that it's worth it. Look at them. I could put another one here. Should I put another one here? Oh, God, I haven't got the money. Put another one here. They love vending machines. I'm sure they all subscribe to this channel. Oh, look at this queue. Look, the queue. Never ending. The lights on that were wrong, you know, Mel. They're all wrong. They should be bright yellow. Maybe a bit of red. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. Do, 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 do. This is like the yellow and orange area. Do, do, do. It just looks so cool at night. But I've got a problem with my uh, my my night mod at the moment. Since the update, not working. We've managed to fix coaster cam, but not night mod. We also don't have peep cam. I never use that anyway. But we only see it at night when it rains now. Whereas usually it go kind of drifts in and out, which is a bit of a shame. But I'm sure they'll get it working eventually. Right, now we've got people turning up. It's starting to get a bit of a, bit of a reputation, this. <laughs> Astrogali says, Vending machines are all the joy of comestibles without the need for pesky interacting with other humans. Well, it's all social distancing these days, isn't it? Invest in vending machine companies, that's all I can say. Maybe start your own. <sighs> Alright, just enjoying my vanilla tea here. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this, the queues are forming. Do you think they've all been on Orbiter? And now they want to go on something else. Oh no! Entered the park, had a bit of a rest, and then went for the mine train coaster. Cool! Look at them, look at them, piling in. There's something deeply satisfying about that, you know, seeing the trains packed out with people. It's lovely. There's also something really deeply satisfying about seeing everything in the green as well. I reckon with a bit of advertising this will be packed out. What we got now? Chinese food. Chinese food! Where are my souvenirs? If Paputin was here she'd be mad. She'd be mad right now. She'd want the souvenirs. Because we all want souvenirs. Because that's the way to get people's money out of them. Giant hats. Backpacks. Sunglasses. Sun visors. Whatever else they sell. Oh, we haven't got umbrellas either, have we? We need some umbrellas. The weather's really bad. How are we doing? Are we happy? Timothy, are you happy? Oh yes, yes he is. Christopher, are you happy? Yes. Dennis, are you happy? They all seem pretty happy. I need like a, a, a fast ride again thing here. Yeah, that, there we go. There's a there's a thing. They need to do a, a ride again path that you can just quickly pop in between. That started up with before he'd even sat down there. <laughs> he fell out the back. 
do Right, I'm gonna start clipping the top off this horrendous loan that I've got out. That banjo player doesn't know anything else. And then we can start having to think about where to put Chinese things, because we've got bubble tea and we've got Chinese food. Which kind of implies that I should have some sort of Chinese area. Maybe even here. Next to the seating tunnel. One thing I have got, and I don't know, I'm really hoping they work, they still work, is picnic benches. Picnic? No, maybe they're, are they in here somewhere? No. Oh, I'm going to be really annoyed if they're not working. Oh, actually, this is a scenario, so they're probably not. But, um, yeah, I've got little picnic benches. Which is awesome. So I've just noticed the bunting, and I kind of feel like... I feel like there should be some bunting. Oh, I don't have any more... I can't afford bunting! There we go. Awesome. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's better. Right, so where's a good place for Chinese food? I think here. I think here, maybe. Actually, I've got, I've got a depot. Oh, I've got a depot. I'd have to run a staff path. Oh god, no, that's going to take loads of money, isn't it? Maybe not then. I could just carry on here. Actually, it would make quite a cool rainbow, that, because bubble tea, if I put bubble tea here, and Chinese food there, it should make a little sort of rainbowy thing. I'm gonna double the price. Give me all your cash. Cash. Yeah. Cash. Oh, whoop! <laughs> Clicked off the window. Getting excited about bursting the balloon. No, I've missed it. Right, Chinese food is available now, and I think you might find that that completes the food sort of rainbowy thing here. Huh? Actually, I think it's roughly the same shade of red, but it's fine. There we go. That's completed the general food area. Chinese food! Oh, another balloon's gone. Impromptu fireworks. I think I've just got my shopkeeper for bubble tea. You know what would be a good rainbow? I hate to say this, but snow cones. But we dare not speak of snow cones, because they don't make any money ever. Oh, got an orange ice cream there. Getting loads of people in now, this is great. Um, Mr Mechanic, what are you doing here? Are you looking for a way out? I think you might be looking for a way out. I can't give you a way out. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to go the other way. Do, 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 do. Giving you a way out would result in having to knock this bench out, which I don't really want to do. But on the other hand, this is probably quite important that you can get out. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, Rock Yeah! This is, I wonder if they could remake Parkitect, but as a food court game. <laughs> food court tycoon, I like it. There's one on the way, actually, that's on my wish list. I can't remember what it is. It's something to do, some lunch one. Because we did Lunch Truck Tycoon, and that was, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Terrible. And then we also did Cook, Serve, Delicious, and... I'm sure I've done another one. I can't remember what it was. Do, 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 do
But yeah, there's another one on my wish list. I can't remember what it was. Lunch something or other. It's quite exciting. Really. I'll play anything if it's a food and a tycoon. Samantha says, I do like that 10% of players have got the achievement for popping someone's balloon, but then felt so bad about it that only 1% won went on to get the 99 balloons popped achievement. <laughs> I don't think I've got the 99 balloons one, because I haven't seen 99 balloons floating around, so... I've suddenly got a lot more popular here. This is great. Where's all this money come from? This is brilliant. I wasn't really expecting to get this one done in one hit realistically but I just suddenly got a lot more popular which is great so I need six roller coasters and I think I've got I think well, I don't know but I think my, does mine coaster count I bloody hope it does if it doesn't I'm in trouble um, if it does count then I've got I've got four if it doesn't count then I haven't but my intention is to put one over here might even be able to get two over there if I play the cards right. Everybody's so much happier as well, this is great. I haven't even tried to decorate anything. Sam says I went on an evil villain spree to get that achievement. I sent out coupons for free balloons just to pop them. That's terrible and ingenious. I need the umbrella shop. Bring me the umbrella shop, please. Actually, I'm making so much money now, I might give them a bit more money to hurry up. I wish somebody would teach that banjo player to, teach, to play something else. That would be great. Nope, not enough money. Damn it. Do, 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 do. Oh, pizza. Pizza's coming next. It's still not ideal, is it? I mean, I love pizza, really, but it's just not quite there. I'm thinking a seating area here. Classy wooden lamp. There we go. Is there anything better than having to walk under the roller coaster? No, I don't think there is. There we go, we can all have a sit down now. We can all have a sit down, look at this. This is Josephine, she's particularly chilled out. Her favourite attraction is Melterprise. She's super happy. Well, that's good. That's good. Hey, I'm only six people off getting the achievement here. <gasps> Maybe pizza will bring them in. I'm also making loads of money. This is awesome. Like this time I am going to pay this back. You're going to let me. My operating profit for last month was two grand. This is what happens when you put really big roller coasters in and you charge by the ride. It's slightly cheaty. Fine, if you're not going to let me pay 500, I'll pay 400 instead. There we go. This is like the relaxo zone, isn't it? I feel like we should sell tea here. Mmm, vanilla tea. Ah. Oh, look at this now. Piling in. Hang on a minute, Dennis. Dennis, have you been on this before? Oh no, 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 he's only just come in. Must be a different Dennis that I'm thinking of, but oh, I do like a good queue for a ride where I'm charging 12 thingies ahead. That's definitely working for me. How much money has gone back into the ecosystem? None, none, none. All completed a goal. None at all. Nobody's used the cash machine. What about this one over here? 
None. Nobody. Nobody's using the cash machine. Clearly, I'm not charging them enough for food, am I? <laughs> Clearly, I'm not charging them enough for this. Oh, well, there we go. It's medium excitement now. Damn it. Oh, all this time, it could have been making loads more money out of you. Let's put it up. Let's put it up to seven, right? I'm, I fancy my luck here. Let's put it up to seven and see if anybody complains. Nope, they're still happily paying it. All that money that I could have had because I didn't realise it was that exciting. Probably need a first aid room here as well, you know. If it's that nauseating. Let's pop one into this gap. There we go. Nice little sort of park services thing going on here. Every time I try and pay money back, I have no money. I should probably time that a bit better. Right, nobody's complaining, so fine, keep the price up then. This all seems to be pretty popular as well. Samantha says Cheese Chasers was awesome. Great, they're piling in. It's great! I feel like I've cracked this famous last words. What I need is to probably fit two more coasters in here. But they need to be high excitement and not broken. So what could I potentially afford? Bamboo boa could be made to be more exciting. Oh, excitement ink! Of course! Does anybody remember excitement ink? We had that in my beach-based park and it was awesome. It is the best ride ever. Ever. If you don't believe me, I might bloody well buy it. It's actually fit, would fit really, really well here as well. It would fit really well here. Or here. Oh yeah, right, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, loan-wise, oh, I could borrow 20, 24 grand. That's a lot of money. But that's also a very high fee. I could borrow, borrow 11. Right, let's borrow 11. I'm going to really regret this, aren't I? Let's borrow 11. And let's get Excitement Inc. Because it's great. Okay, just, just as I do that theme parks get negative reviews. Let's pop it over here and then at least it overlooks the river and uh, gives me a bit of space for another coaster. There we go. Right, so the entrance, like there's a little, um, there's a little patio thing here. So what I could do, <laughs> I could make you walk right the way over here. <laughs> uh, so you've got to be completely committed to it. That sounds like a plan. Or I could make the queue line ridiculously long. Or I could just do what I was originally going to do and extend the bridge. But obviously I will need to take the idiot sign off then. So let's just get this connecting to here. The little bridgey bit overlooking. There we go. Oh god, they're all coming, they're all coming already. Might take that off, okay. So now, we've got a nice little extension over here. Actually, I'm going to extend that a little bit more because otherwise it's all a bit narrow. Oh, <gasps> pizza, pizza is available now. Oh, we could have pizza over here. We could have pizza over here. But before we do that, we need to test Excitement Inc. This is so awesome, this ride. I love it. This is a firm favourite on this channel. We think it's great. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Got a bit of rocking music that I didn't ask for as well. <laughs> hey! Yeah. It's really exciting. 
exciting! Oh yeah. It's great. We love it. We love it. And it should be super high excitement, this one. 43.3 at the moment, but the test hasn't finished yet. Has it got on ride photographs? Because that's where you got all your money. Actually, do you know, it hasn't. That's frustrating. Oh, I definitely want extra trains as well. Because I need to get as many people on as I possibly can. Right, while well, that's testing, I will add to my patio. And we can have the pizza patio. There we go, probably get a depot in at this end as well. And a staff room. So, if I put the depot here, actually, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that fits really well. Oh, I forgot I was going to have to pay for all this rubbish. Great. Let's take that underground. Okay, where do I need to connect to? Oh, God, miles away. Oh, it's okay, it's over there. Uh, I can't connect. Where's it, where's it gone? Ah! Why am I so bad at this? Just, just, just attach! Just, no, don't get rid of it! Attach to it! No, don't get... Uh, thank you. Nobody knows that it's happening. Right, then I'll need to go up, I think. How much do I need to go up? Is that right? No, up a bit further? No. Is it up a lot further? Ooh, ooh. Oh, there we go. That's got it. Good. Right, so now I need a staff path connecting to here and also probably out uh, ooh, ooh, from here. Is that connected? Yes. Lovely. Put that to there. Right, I think that's okay now. I think that's okay now. I'm gonna need another staff room because otherwise they're gonna die. Perfect. Look how much money I've got in the meantime. Definitely start eating into one of these loans. Which one's the most expensive? That one. Okay, Excitement Inc. You're going to be my new money spinner. Exactly how exciting are you? 42.5. Well, that's not exciting enough. That's actually not exciting enough. Oh, great. Oh, irritating is that. Um, I'll get it going because obviously we, uh, we need it going, but some of it needs to be underground or something to make it more exciting because it needs to be over 50. I wonder why it isn't that exciting, although certain things have got more exciting as time has gone on. I think it is an underground thing. I think the best thing for me to do is do a little bit of absolutely horrific terraforming. So that you go into a tunnel at some completely inappropriate moment. Which I can't do without money. Speaking of money, I haven't put the price of my pizza up. Five. Five dollar. Five dollar pizza. If a staff member ever comes and fills it up. What are we waiting on here? What are we waiting on? What's that? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh no. Oh, I just realised why. <gasps> no wonder it's not connected. Oh, drat. Oh, I've messed up. Oh, that's no good. Oh no. Botheration. Although they should still come and do it from the front. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, right. Um, oh, drat. I don't think there's a way of connecting that. 
Oh god, Fraser Falls has been struck by lightning again. What? Why is that? Why is that? That's wrong. Also wrong. Justin is bringing vegetables to pizza when I've specifically asked for the stuff from pizza to be delivered from this depot here, which they can still do. It's just they can take it in the front rather than in the back. Is that cheese? I think that might be cheese coming in. So now we just need the meat and the meat is stuck over here. I can't believe that. Oh, that's so annoying. Might have to move it, you know, because otherwise that's going to really annoy me. But not right now because Michael is going to be delivering his meat. He does that a lot. Somebody really should speak to him about that. Oh, just my new excitement ink coaster. To not be able to do anything. Well, while it can't do anything, I will terraform it so that it's more exciting. Because even though it will wreck the scenery... Oh, no, I won't. I say even though it will wreck the scenery... It will also make it more exciting. So, I've got a bit of key light missing here. Oh my god. Wait, what? That's not right. Oh, I've got a bit of, got a bit of key light missing. No wonder people aren't getting on it. <sighs> right, that's the wrong colour as well. That's the wrong colour. Drat. Woo! Oh god. Oh god, oh god, it's all going wrong. Hang on, it's going wrong. Nobody panic. Oh no, it's flashing on and off at me. Ah. Nobody panic. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Actually, I prefer it that colour anyway. I'm going to repaint all of it. There we go. Right, now I'm going to try and terraform it. With it into a completely inappropriate tunnel. Thus totally destroying the look of the thing. But probably making it way more exciting. Hey! <laughs> oh, look! Look, it worked! I've completed a goal. I have at least six coasters in my park with an excitement rating of 50 or above. And in actual fact, by doing that terrible bit of terraforming, I have won! <laughs> look! Look! I've won! <laughs> that was the best decision I've ever made. Look! 51.4. Well, who'd have thought it? All of the coasters counted, including the mine train and the water one. And I am a winner, and I'm getting out of here before it decides that I'm not. Get in. <laughs> What's that given me? What's that given me? A, um... Actually, what the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's a trophy of some description. Anyway, look. The clouds have queered. Queered? <laughs> they haven't queered. They've cleared. We're going into the Verdant Valley. And... The not so verdant valley. We've got Kaiserberg. The eccentric owner of this ski slope wants to be prepared for climate change. It's rather unusual, but if you work with the steep terrain and ignore the cold, this remote location could serve as the site for a unique theme park. All of your coasters need to stay close to the ground. Can you use the slopes to your advantage? Or we've got verdant valley. Pagoda Valley, a secluded valley, presents an ideal location for a thrilling coaster park. The nearby temple is fine with your use of the land as long as you respect the existing structures. You had to take a small loan to get your park started, but now you're ready to go. Well, what are we going to do next time, guys? What do you fancy? Do you fancy a Pagoda Valley where there are things I can't demolish? Or do you fancy a Kaiserberg where there are things I can't go above? It looks like it might already have a monorail. What do we fancy? 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 Oh, it's so exciting. I've won. <laughs> I won the thing. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I'm speechless. 
You've all been knocked speechless as well. Well, maybe we'll decide next time. Oh, Fatter Than Most says I'd like the snow one, please. I must admit, I quite fancy the snow one as well, because as much as pagodas look amazing, the challenge of uh, using the slopes to my advantage sounds like a plan. We might end up having to do both of them, of course. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mel says I like the snow one too. Yes, I think we'll do the snow one next time then. I think we'll do the snow one next time. It's been really cool to see everybody. I'm so glad that uh, that you're all here. As YouTube doesn't tell anybody that I have a channel anymore. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Oh, it'll be even cooler next time because we will be up a snowy mountain. So I hope you'll be joining me. I don't quite know when it will be yet. Um, it might even be Tuesday evening, so keep a lookout for that. But please make sure that you've pressed the bell so that you get notifications. And please make sure that you have liked, because that's really, really, really important. It costs you nothing, but means everything to me. And also, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you, hopefully, very, very soon in Kaiserberg. Thank you very much, everybody. Au revoir. Or even... <laughs>